Hello, this is David Spieth again, uh, creator of Pool Party for the Mint 10 Challenge. Uh, in this video, I will go, af go over the challenge cards. At the beginning of any round, uh, a challenge card is drawn by the first player, and it will involve a dexterity challenge of some sort uh, with uh, the person that drew the card and any potential competitors. Uh, in this case, there are a total of six different challenges. The game usually goes between three and four rounds, so uh, a typical typical game will go uh, use three or four of these cards. Uh, going through the challenges one by one, there's the high dive challenge, uh, where it shows mandatory. It means that uh, everyone must participate in this uh, challenge, whether they're their first player or not, and they must use up to two of their tokens. And these are your family member tokens, and you must use two of them at most. Uh, and sometimes that requires you abandoning things uh, that you would rather just camp out your tokens on. Like uh, in this case, let's say I only had uh, two tokens available uh, to me, the rest were all in lines. Yellow player would then uh, take off uh, one token from their chair or one, uh, another token from their raft in case they wanted to uh, participate two tokens in the challenge. This challenge itself says drop your tokens from six inches height above the table and into the pool. So very simple, you just uh, take your token, drop it in, and it goes around the table for the other players. And then if you decide to commit a second token, you take your second token and you also drop it in. So uh, let's pretend that uh, all four players had committed, in which case uh, yellow would have only dropped their first token, then green would have gone, then purple, then blue, and then if you have a second token, it'd go around again. So let's say yellow went, and only green decided to commit a second token to this challenge. Uh, the winner of the challenge is the one closest to the uh, life preserver, and in that case, that looks to be blue. So blue would then uh, take this card, they would gain five points, and uh, they would mark that on the scoring track, and they'd be uh, five points uh, higher up in the game. The next challenge is the shuffleboard. Uh, also a mandatory one for each player, and you can commit uh, up to two tokens. And with that, you end up using uh, special ex special cards for the court itself. This card shows you how to set up the court, as well as being uh, an active uh, item in, in utilizing the challenge. So with this, you would place the court itself in the lid, and use the other card as a ramp. And you would use the puck token, and you place it on the card, and you flick it in. In this case, that was a very poor flick. I would get no points for that. Then the next player would get to shoot one for theirs. And the scoring is the highest number you're touching. And this is easily, mostly touching eight, so they would get eight points. If the uh, puck marker was over here, slightly on the 10, they would uh, get a score of 10. Uh, no matter how many tokens you use, you just keep your best score. Whoever has the highest score gets the points for the card, five points. If people are tied, then uh, you would each get uh, five points for that tied score. Third type of challenge is raft surfing. I explained in the previous video that uh, whistle cards are things that the lifeguards do not like watching you do, and you can end up like losing a turn by participating in them, but uh, it's worth five points. The first player who ever drew this must participate in this challenge. Any other player may part in the, take place in the challenge, but they don't have to. And the way it's simulated is each person takes uh, one of their own uh, leftover uh, tokens, markers, and they spin it. Uh, on the count of three, uh, you spin your marker. Whichever one is spinning on the table longest wins. So if that was the longest spin, that person would get the five points. Again, someone else might uh, be vindictive and play a lifeguard, blows the whistle card, sending anyone who participated in this challenge to the lifeguard lecture. But regardless, whoever won this challenge would still keep the five points. Uh, chicken fight I explained in another video, but that's uh, where... It's another uh, life uh, whistle card. You have to commit two tokens to this to play. The first player who drew it uh, automatically has to do it, and they challenge one other player uh, who must participate in the challenge. 
And when that happens, uh, whoever uh, wins the thumb wrestle gets the five points. The next challenge is hold your breath. Uh, also a whistle challenge, mandatory first player, optional, whoever else wants to participate. On the count of three, everyone holds their breath, and whoever can hold it the longest wins. Now, there are some people that note that this might be uh, potentially easy to cheat at if you play with uh, people that like to cheat. If so, I would recommend changing the actual hold your breath to a blinking contest instead, a staring contest. Whoever blinks first is out. But... Uh, and keeping with the theme of the game, uh, and if you can keep yourself from cheating and you know you play with a good group that doesn't uh, aren't, aren't cheaters, holding your breath is the way to go. The next challenge is pool volleyball. And mandatory is first and one challengee, so at least two people are playing. Optional, other people can commit. So the challengee can, can't refuse, the first player cannot refuse, but then other people may jump in if they so wish. And the way uh, that is conducted... There's also uh, extra instructions on the other side of the shuffleboard court card showing you how to do the volleyball. And the volleyball court itself is on the other side of the shuffleboard court. And what you do is you set this up so that the dashed yellow line is touching the tin. You take the volleyball and flick it against the wall of the pool itself and you're trying to remain on the card, and you're trying not to get stuck in the net, which is the area between the, the two sets of yellow dashes. And you flick it as many times as you can, and that is your score. So uh, one, I already failed. It's, it's stuck touching the net, so it's stuck in the net. Now, one, and you get one point for that. Second player gets one, two, three, and then it's stuck in the net the fourth time, so their score would be three. And then you go around the table, and uh, whoever gets the highest number of successive uh, successful volleys uh, wins the contest, and they would get the five points for uh, the volleyball. And that's the uh, six challenges.